Old Dove gives that... me nightmares too. <laughs> so, the last thing that I remember after I fell asleep for my long rest, um, I was greeted by some kind of pitch black darkness, and it completely masked anything you could see uh, or hear. So, I couldn't speak, or if I tried to speak, or if I tried to yell, you could hear nothing. It's like I was mute. Um, I couldn't even hear myself breathe. And I'm staying in this darkness for what feels like days. And it's like one of those darknesses that almost drives you crazy. It's like a deafening silence. You can't hear, you can't speak, you can hardly think. You can't even hear yourself thinking, which is weird. Um, and then all of a sudden, I begin to hear some talking. I'm, I can't identify it quite yet. Um, slowly, this, these talking gets louder and louder until it sounds like it's standing directly next to me. And I look over and I can't see what it is, I, so I don't know who it is. But after a few moments, uh, these voices that now sound close to like a hundred people screaming in fear and pain, um, just like blasts into my hearing. Like, I, I hear this screaming all around me, but it only lasts for a few moments before the silence falls again. And I'm back in the quiet and darkness. And then, out of the corner of my eye, a subtle light appears. And I feel my body begin to move towards it. After a period of walking, I, I see and enter a hallway filled with faceless shadows walking back and forth and back and forth uh some seem to talk in some kind of a whisperish language i can't seem to uh pinpoint it while others seem to be in a hurry as they're running back and forth past me uh, behind me i hear two familiar voices and as i turn around i see myself dressed purely in white and there's that one nope 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 that's that's <laughs> the wrong one. That's there it is. Okay. Just a moment. Let me send that screenshot real quick. As I, as I'm dressed in this pure white outfit, um, I turn and see next to me standing a wood elf with white brown hair, and I'm, I'm trying to recall who this is. But after a few moments, I realize the other person is Waldorf. He is also dressed in complete white from head to toe. As both of us begin to talk, the words seem muffled. Uh, soon after I identify as more as Moldor or Waldorf, I'm sorry, I feel the floor fall through into darkness. And before I land in a large room of dark red bricks with red vines and plants scattered all about and then growing in large clumps. As I observe the room, I hear an echoey, raspy breathing voice, and I slowly turn my head to be met with three black skulls sharing one giant skeletal body. I've never seen this thing, and it only seems to include the ribs and a spine. I wake up once the creature launches a flashing white smoking skull towards me. And then that's where I woke up and there was no one around me. And I see this red figure and I reach out and touch and here I am. Mm. Old Dove gives that... me nightmares too. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, uh, Morden, I think we should uh, pay uh, more heed to uh, uh, Good Harmon's uh, dream here. I, I do feel like there may be a touch of truth into it. Though I do not recall him from a previous life uh or do i know do i uh get a chance to maybe recall him you can make roll and if anyone else wants to make a roll on what that skeletal thing was you're more than welcome to mm, okay. skeletal. just uh be wisdom wisdom check on skeletal thing 19 
19. Make a constitution check for uh, me. Constitution check. Constitution as well? Constitution. Uh, saving throw, actually. Sorry. Oh, um... Okay, so saving throw, constitution... Is that no different than a regular constitution, though, right? Uh, if you're proficient in, a, in the saving throw, then you would get your proficiency bonus. Okay, no, mine's the exact same. It's just a plus one. Okay. So 13 then, on the con. So 19 on the wisdom, 13 on the con. 12 on the As con. As you... That's your con... Wait, was it 12? 12 for the All constitution, right. yeah. As you guys attempt to remember this, you think you grasp it before suddenly a, br a very harsh, like, burning pain fills your heads as like oh one of the worst migraines or not even migraine almost feels as if your head's on fire for a few moments before it dies down and you remember nothing you can't quite place it though it does sound familiar as though it did happen they can't place where when or how and you know like you know you've heard of this reach before but you can't place it you don't know what it is uh, uh, if can I turn to the uh, priestess? Uh, well, she was obviously in a small enough room. She's overheard this story, yeah. And ask her, you know, does this seem familiar to you, uh, good priestess? Do you uh, perhaps uh, recognize this creature that uh, my good uh, companion Harmon is uh, discussing? She looks horrified. As, and and she looks at you all and almost. She looks at you almost as if she's seeing you in a new light, and goes, "It was, it was you. You, you were the ones who." And suddenly, her look becomes solemn, and she goes towards the carpet in the middle of the room, and then looks you, uh, looks at you all, and goes, "This is your fault. You, you will fix it." What? And she, what, what are you talking about? That's what fault? She. It's existence. It, it's it, you were what the, some of the ones who. She she doesn't say. It. She seems to cut herself off as she's getting overwhelmed, and she, she goes to the carpet and she rolls it back a bit, and there's a trap door on the floor, and she opens it and you see a ladder that goes down. Do you guys follow? She yes. goes down first. She gestures to you all go, you all to go down for, uh, and then she or to follow her, and then she yes, yeah, she goes down. She goes down. I, I, if she goes down first, I will follow her. I will follow. I follow. Right. Following. All right. As you all go down, you're met with a room littered with, pa with loose papers, sh bookshelves, and a. At the very end of the room, it's it's much smaller. It's bad. It's much smaller than the room you're previously in, but you see this room. That I just sent to important notes. See, I didn't say screenshot. You didn't. Um, and you see that book at the end that seems to have words scribbled throughout it. And in it, and almost as though someone, someone's writing very hastily, but also multiple different, ha multiple different handwriting, multiple people, multiple people's different handwriting, as though the book has been written in hundreds of times over by different generations, different people, or just almost someone in a different mindset. Though you can't I quite make out what it says from where you can are. Can I attempt to read the book? Walk closer to it? Yes. Investigation check? Uh, what languages do you speak? Uh, languages? I speak common, dwarfish, elvish, and halfling. Alright. You are able to read some of it. And you're able to make out some of the more hastily written notes, um, and o like older notes as well, or not quite. So, no, no, sorry. Some of the newer notes, the older ones, you can't quite place the language it's written down in. But you notice some of it saying, um, "Though ever, ever so far, very few remain. Though most have fled, it's very few remain, and those who do stay here." are gone she's left us because the world isn't there's not enough for her to stay alive here so she is gone our, our one speaking of hope is gone and she just kind of, and 
it kind of goes on talking about how there's there's very little hope left there's very little signs left of hope and there's very few reasons to as to why people are still fighting why there's still settlements set up some are asking about what happened to heritage or the people before who created this thing that is consistently referenced although no like name for it has been um has been labeled for it um although in some points where it changes from it you some things are written uh as the creature of the end and um Har Harmon are you reading this? Yes. Uh, I'm I'd like to make an investigation check on the book. Or no perce perception show, sorry. Oh jeez. That was a good roll right. too. <laughs> no, you can you can just um change the modifier. 11. Uh you you bet sorry. Oh my gosh. You notice that there seems to be a very, like, a small doodle of what looks like it could be the creature from your dreams. Uh, and, and some of the pages. And that's very, all you get from it. Very interesting. Uh, so it seems that s somebody is referencing, uh, like, a, a place or something. And it's saying that some someone has left because there's there's no point anymore uh that there's there's just there's no point in her uh being here because of all the destruction or or something um and then what this little scribble here in the side of one of the pages kind of sort of looks like this creature in my dream uh can I check and see if I know more about this thing Make a wisdom check. Wisdom check. Hmm. A six. <laughs> we're nope. just not getting nothing. it, are we? Not, oh. not even pain. <laughs> just good, nothing. Good, good priestess, we are very, very confused. Perhaps you can tell us what you feel that we were a part of. Because none of us have any memory of this creature, or this place, or... Uh, you know, this, this disaster that uh, you say happened eons ago. She just kind of lifts you and goes, clearly, by what happened earlier, I don't know if your minds can handle the full truth yet. Um, and she kind of goes, I, I gotta check later real quickly because I don't want to get false information and then be wrong. I, I think, hold up, just double checking the moment. This is not in character. As if characters can't give the wrong information. <laughs> <laughs> I just, just like here's line. Uh, to the east. Sorry. There's a desert. There's a bit of sand that leads to an ocean. Somewhere in the in some of the in the waters, you should find some hint. Or some clue as to what's there, and your and what happened. As, as it stands, I don't believe me telling you sh you should be able to handle it. Thank you for uh, any help that you can uh, give us in this, and uh, we appreciate that. Uh, perhaps the magnitude of this event is uh, too great for us right now. Uh, I realize that it may be an inconvenience, but uh, could we? please uh, rest here overnight um, and then we'll continue on our way come morning well hang on I have some questions because I zapped here out of nowhere and I have no idea where we are who is this priestess and can we even trust her being that she's yeah. the only being we've come across, I don't think we have any other basis to judge trust on. I, I don't even know her name. You guys keep calling her priestess. I mean, does she have a name? Did you guys even ask her name? How, how can you? How can you guys so blindly just trust somebody you don't even know a name for? 
to be fair, uh, none of us knew each other's names uh, but three days ago. Uh, this is true. So <laughs> n no, in no introductions were made. Uh, we we were not we did not have a, a moment to do so. We were uh, quite rushed when we uh, first encountered her, as the day was turning uh, a uh, a what would seem to be an ominous uh, shade of red. And uh, oh, it did. Then suddenly, you know, you <laughs> suddenly appeared before us. Yes, it did. Uh, obviously, <laughs> obviously, uh, my companion's uh, senses are not quite as attuned as uh, mine own, but uh, I do feel like there was a dread um, aura, you know, of, of overcoming the land. And that's why I thought we so, uh, sought shelter with this uh, this priestess. But uh, to be fair, uh, my good friend Harmon does make a good point, uh, priestess. Um, I myself is, am known as Waldorf. Uh, these are my companions, and I'll gesture to them to do their own introductions. Yeah, because he couldn't remember his name if he tried. I could, but I don't want to. I, I'll, I'll let you guys. In, uh, I turn towards the priestess and say, "My name's Harmon. Um, what is your name?" My name is Kiana. I am the priestess and guardian of the Shrine of Cipher. Shrine of what again? I'm sorry that this, this teleporting has done something to my hearing. I did not hear you. Of S Sophira. A shrine of Sophira. Do I know of this shrine? Make a wisdom check. Seven. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> We're making it really tough for you, aren't we? You absolutely yeah. are. I know, right? Dude, switch your <sighs> dice. <laughs> Please. I want I want to <laughs> supply you with lore, but I can't. Um Well, how long have you been guarding this sh shrine? I have been guarding it since my grant since my mother's passing, about hundred or so years. Well tell us more about the shrine. There's not much to say on it anymore, sadly. Why not? She's kind of like looks at you like no one is here to ever pay respects or pay tribute to the goddess, so there's not much. I turn to Waldorf and ask, is this the same uh goddess statue that we saw in the beginning in the water? Uh, I'll take Harmon aside just uh, just you know, so he doesn't uh, cause any more distress to the priestess uh, with his um, uh, insensitive uh, co uh, comments, but uh, and say, no, no, this does seem to be a different uh, goddess, but uh, the temple itself is much in ruin. Um, it it may be uh, disturbing for her to uh, for us to uh, you know bring that to you know, not to light, but. Um, we may be upsetting uh, her by uh, by dwelling on this too long. Obviously, it is of some concern to her. I can still hear you. Yeah, well, I, I did my best. This is, this is Waldorf. He just assumes that... Uh, I don't... <laughs> okay, I've been okay. waiting for an opportunity to, uh, to tell Harmon about uh, Morden's uh, um, a sad uh, uh, history, but uh, I haven't had an opportunity to do that yet. Well, I guess if, put him in a way that. Uh, yeah, anyways, sorry, never mind. I guess if she is a guardian, uh, she looks. I mean, she obviously sounds like she really uh, cares about this about this position that she's been put in. So, um, I, I'm I'm okay with with her. Mm. You, you approve of her existence? <laughs> I mean, I, 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 tr I, tr I trust her. I trust her. Judge I trust her judgments of us, um, her hospitality. Hmm. I, I fear that we have a little choice in the matter, but uh, I do uh, too believe uh, the story that she has said that there are too many unknowns for us to completely discount it, and the parts that do ring true do seem to fit together quite nicely. Nicely, she blames wow. us for the condition of the world, and yet it, it does seem that perhaps we did have some uh, part in it. Uh, all of us have had uh, our memories removed, and in some cases, it feels like they have been blocked. 
uh, I do feel that whatever happened, we may have been a part of it. I'm sure you were. You are so <laughs> angsty. He's like I, the grumpiest halfling ever. It's, it's just, it's just, I'm just getting like teen angst vibes <laughs> the entire time your character talks. And I don't mean that in like a rude way or anything. But like He punched me twice in the face. <laughs> I don't like him. I, I'm shocked. Um... This might be better. I'm shocked you guys haven't asked about the red armed lady. That I was to just about to. We're, we're, we're working I towards that. Yeah. To get to that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. yeah. Harmon's Harmon's distrust has uh, derailed the conversation. For half a moment. I don't think he can. I, Harmon brought me into the conversation. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> anyway, continue on. Priestess, um, speaking of information that we don't have, uh, this red being that brought, um, Harmon to us, it had spoken to me earlier today, and it told me to listen to the goddess's book, that it would guide me. What can you tell us about this being, and is this book before us, that book? Not the entire book. The, the goddess's book is the original part of the uh, the original part of the book in which addresses Sulphira. And she kind of takes the book and flips to the part of which you couldn't read. And goes to the ending of that part you couldn't read to where you could begin. This is the go goddess's book. Does Did anyone else want to take a crack at reading it? Uh, I would, but, uh, but, uh, Harmon speaks all the languages that I speak and a couple others. So, uh, um, yes. I would, I would not be able to read any, any more. He speaks the same as I do. Uh, priestess, could you read this to us? We, we do not understand it. Hmm. I see. Well then perhaps, uh, uh, hmm. It's a language, honestly, I am not too familiar with, as it's not as practiced as much. However, I do believe that the, that the Guardian should be able to assist that. The God's Guardian should be able to assist you with that. Where might we find this Guardian? She kind of smiles at you. You already have. In fact, seemingly, it's, it seems to have found interest in you as well. Would we be able to seek them out? They seem to avoid us as much as possible, but at the same time, they do seem to be following us. Is there any method you know of that we might uh, have a uh, interact with them? Have you tried properly talking to it? I don't believe they've stayed uh, in, they've stayed um, still enough for us to have attempted that, but uh, perhaps that should be our next uh, step. Is this the guardian in red that I, that brought me here? She sm she kind of smiles and nods at you. You spoke with it, correct? I tried to, but it kind of just looked at me and didn't say anything. I asked for its hand and an handshake, and uh, she reached out and touched me, and then I'm here. And then all of a sudden, she's melted away. Well, so no, I have not. Sp I have not spoken to her. Well, it would seem that with those few words addressed, that you managed to get some form of help from her, seeing as you're here and not out there with what's going on currently. How can we get into contact with this guardian? Have you tried calling it? I have not. <laughs> would you know the guardian's name? Hmm. Its real name is not well known, as only the gods are aware of it. However, you may be able to either try looking for, calling out for the Guardian, or perhaps looking in places of which you've already found them. As it does, as they normally appear when, and guide those who it finds interest in when it's needed. Well, um, it helped me so by logic it's taken interest in me i am a bard 
Um, I am proficient in performances of music. Uh, could the Guardian possibly return at, at like a, a song that I play for her? Potentially. Has it not interacted with any of you? Not me. We have had glimpses of the Guardian and um, Pataris. Uh, perhaps there was more to your story. It, it spoke to me. It uh, said to me what I've told you. And then it vanished. I had seen it very briefly one time previously. I see. Hmm. Well, there is no definitive way to summon it. That is not usually the use of needing its help or it feeling it's needed or danger in some cases. We could wait but... for Wilda to roll a nat one again. What is rolling a nat one? I've never heard of that. Sometimes this uh, Morden he does uh, speak uh, mysteriously. <laughs> <laughs> and perhaps he perhaps he took a, a a a knock on the noggin at at some point in the past, and it may have rattled his uh... in the past few days. You mean a couple times? <laughs> <laughs> I sure I... felt in danger then. Anyway, that that conversation didn't happen. I can't believe anything. <laughs> uh, uh, good priestess. Uh, perhaps then what you're suggesting is that this guardian will come to us when. On its own time, and we may not, we may have uh, better luck uh, waiting for it to find us than for us to find it. Correct. Then, in that case, uh, I make another request that I do not know how uh, you would uh, react to it. But uh, this book, you know, as per my good companion Pitaris's, uh, uh conversation with the Guardian, does seem to be very important. Uh, might we take this book with us? Of course. If the Guardian has said you will need it, then I see no issue with the lending, with allowing you to have it. Thank you. We, uh, we appreciate your trust in this manner. Uh, Harmon, I think you're already... Oh, no, no. Uh, she was reading the book. Um, uh, I will take the book uh, from her and put it into my inventory. As you say that you thank her for, her for her trust, she looks and goes, I do not trust you. I trust the gods and the decisions. I don't trust and hand you the book. Okay. I don't trust you either. <laughs> I wouldn't trust me either. <laughs> <laughs> me or me? Everyone. <laughs> your, your entire uh, group. From, a, from what you have heard from you all, I, I do not trust you, but... I am willing to assist if the, go if the gods have deemed it necessary. What should I call it? One god book? <laughs> uh, god, god, the goddess's book. Goddess's book, okay. And... Yeah, do you all head upstairs to sleep or you guys still want to talk? Uh, what time is it? Have we killed a lot of the night or do we still have a good chunk of the night to rest uh, I know Pataris requires uh, at least a four hour sleep uh, Harmon does Harmon have any damage uh, no I don't okay because I think all of everybody else is full health but we will need at least a rest for them I guess Morden well, I mean... has completely healed me oh did he oh okay but we probably need to rest before we start getting um, uh, phantoms and such. Yes, his his magic was quite successful. Mm. Um. So do you all head back upstairs? Oh yeah. So we, we've got time to do a full rest uh, for these guys, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. She leads up. She leads you upstairs and then kind of grabs extra blankets and pillows and lays them across the floor for everyone. Uh, should. For those who sleep, for those who do not, she just kind of sets out some like she 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 show she blah, 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 blah. she sets up some like, still some pillows for you if you need to sit for any trancing or anything. Just helping you guys get comfortable, and then she herself heads to bed.